Hey guys, let's do some Rudolph nails. I'm starting by cleaning up her cuticle using my Da Bomb cuticle bit. If you know me, you know I love this cuticle bit and it's also available on my website. I'm prepping her natural nails with 120 grit pink sanding bands and the tips we're using are the XXL Coffin No C Curve tips. But don't get too excited because we're chopping these bitches off. Yep, she gets short nails and when I tell you honey, any length of nails can have nail art when it comes to me i am not lying to you i love a challenge and she always gets these short tiny little almonds actually she even said this was too long so we had to end up shortening them after applying the tips i'm just going ahead and flushing the nail i'm going to dehydrate using some dehydrator and valentino's primer and then i'm going to be doing her full set using frosted pink Yes, it was Frosted Pink from Young Nails. I love this acrylic color. It's like a cleary. I don't know why it's called Frosted Pink because honestly, it ain't pink at all. It's just like a cleary white. <laughs> but yeah, so I do the two bead method. Look at me getting in the way. I am so not good at recording acrylic. I'm just used to recording my art. I gotta get better at this, okay? Then I'm just finishing her off using my Work It bit, which is also in the Y2K Bit Kit collection and buffing her out with my pink buffers. Now, first things first, so we're gonna paint Rudolph. The challenge with these characters are, is they're claymation. So they're not very bold outline. You gotta give them texture. You gotta actually make them look like the show. So I started with this body. I went in with some shading, did some little stippling, which is pretty much just like dotting and blending it out. I'm using the nine millimeter liner brush for my website and all of my gel polishes. Actually, for his body, I think I used maple and mixed some white into it. And then now I'm using my white and black liner gels. Look at him coming to life. Oh my gosh, he was so much fun to paint. I also did a lot of my shading using the Slim Shady blender brush from my shop as well. I'm using the color Black Cherry to add some horns at the top of his head. I'm also using Black Cherry mixed with a little bit of black to do some more shading and blending to really bring him to life and top him off with his red nose using the Oops I Did It Again liner gel. Then we got to paint Clarice. For the body of her, I believed I used the gel polish color called Pumpkin Spice and I mixed white into it and it was the perfect color for her. Then I used the gel color Baby Doll to add a little bit of her mouth area. I'm going to be using a little bit more of that color and a little bit under her neck. You see me just doing a little stippling method, which is like quick little dots. And then I'm gonna blend all that out using this Slim Shady Blender brush again. This is gonna just make her look texturized like the actual cartoon. After that, I took my red liner gel and of course we gotta give her her iconic bow. She wouldn't be Clarice without the bow. And after that, I'm just adding her big eye. Now, these always look so creepy until you put the little white part in the eye. Look at how scary this is. And then we gotta add some lashes, her little black nose. By the way, you guys, I am carrying in between each one of these colors so they don't all blend into each other. And adding the white in her eye so she doesn't look so terrifying. Giving her some white dots up on her bow and then really just bringing her to life with the shading. The key to these characters is just shade away. I'm using the color Inside a Snowflake for behind the characters as well. And now we get to paint Bumble. He's my favorite. I think he's so stupid looking and so cute. I just love him so much. It's so crazy how this big white blob turns into something so cute. I'm using the color Be My Lover Blue for inside his face. Um, at the top, he has a little Santa hat on. I went in with my black shading gel to give him some texture. My red liner gel for the hat and mouth and added his eyes. Now I'm just doing some little tiny, tiny hair strokes to make him look furry. For the hands, I used my blue Dabba D liner gel. It was a perfect color, and then I'm just adding his eyes. For the other nails, we went ahead and matted the nails and then added my white liner gel to create icicles. I poured some glitter into it while it was still wet and then dusted it off after curing, and look at how amazing these accent nails came out. It looks so good with this set, we're obsessed. For the thumbs, we just added some snowflakes, and look at how freaking cute the set came out. By the way, I did add some glitter to Rudolph's nose and some wet texture for Bumble's hair after matting them. I hope you guys like this video, and I want to know, you guys gotta let me know in the comments right now below. What detailed in-depth tutorial should I post next? Because we're gonna go more in detail next time. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and comment, and I'll see you in another video soon. Bye guys.